This is take four. This is the first week that I was denied this paperwork and this training as department manager at store 2615 in Valdosta. President McCullough, or Mike Millen rather, President Mike Millen, fail. Georgia, this is week two that I was never given this. President Scott Lee, fail to respond. Required mandatory training for department managers, and all department managers should be trained. This is week three. Chairman of the board, David Glass, refused to respond when the information and documentation and proof is right here for the world to see. I did not receive not one sheet. God can't, God cannot prove that I signed off on any of this. Why would I mention the name of God? Think about it. Think about it. Nor did a trainer. And of course, this is week four. This is week four of training. This is the paperwork. Walmart, not me. And of course... Now, and, and you see, now you know. And what are you doing to help your fellow American citizens who are still working at Walmart? Why don't y'all tell Walmart it's ridiculous the way they treat? Not me. I get a check every month. It's not much, but I get a check. But what about those people who give them Walmart their best? Giving them their best to only to be treated like dirt. Number five, my little friends over here, they holding the last two sheets. And this is the fourth week of training. Then they verify and they backs it up with a signature. And if I would fail to sign that signature, this is equivalent to the 623 in the military. But the only difference is the military train you. And then after training, if you cannot perform, then when a person is terminated, they understand why they were terminated. But if you are not trained, then <laughs> next tape, I'm going to refute and rebut my first written coaching. You don't want to miss that one. Please stick around. And that's the way it is. And that's the way it remains. And I'm going to remain on the case. And I've asked my children to take all that I have done and compile it and to go deeper with it. Even if it takes 20 to 30 years from now, I want everybody across America and around the world to know how Walmart treat our armed forces members who have served in Afghanistan, Vietnam, and other foreign battlefields around the world. And then you decide how you want to spend your dollars. You decide how you want your children. What kind of world you want to leave to your children. Yeah. I'm going to help you all to help your own children. This is kvci.blogspot.com in Valdosta, Georgia. Doing what I do. Because Luke 418, Luke 418, need to be read by everybody. Until next time. And there will be a next time. Bye-bye. We go.